Good afternoon. Um, let me introduce me and my colleague, uh, Vartan Licelli. Uh, he is professor of archaeology. He is professor of Tbilisi State University, and I am uh, Dr. Irina Kosharidze, art historian. We both will uh, talk about the Georgian culture and uh, Georgian um, culture and archaeological um, culture, which uh, are dated uh, back to the very, very ancient time. Let me introduce at first my colleague, uh, Professor Wacht Anglicelli, who will talk about the Georgian archaeological sites and Georgian archaeological culture. Please. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I will try to give some information about the ancient culture of Georgia, about some technical and intellectual novelties, what we have in our history. So next uh, next uh, slide, please. This uh, just I would like to show the, the map of Georgia. You know very well this country, but the country is uh, small. Uh, as you know, 69,000 uh, square kilometers, etc. But now uh, I, I will try to speak quickly because time is too short. So because of uh, Georgia has 12 different climate zones, uh, nature of Georgia and diversity of Georgia is very important for explanation and understanding of uh, cultural events, economic events happening on the territory of our country. Next, please. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, this one. Uh, you see the diversity of, I'm showing here the diversity of uh, country, very high mountains and semi deserts and uh, etc. and etc. Wetlands also, uh, high mountains. The next, please. But now let's go to the archaeology. So, earliest remnants, what we have on the territory of Georgia, uh, belongs to existence of Homo erectus on the territory of uh, central part of. Uh, Georgia, which is 1,800,000 years old. And uh, this is important because this is the earliest remnant outside of Africa, and this is earliest on the territory of Europe and Asia. The next one, please. Next stage of development of local society in Georgia, what I would like to show, this is so-called early farming period. This is period of existence of high developed uh, agriculture and this is period of existence of endemic wheat, uh, three types of endemic wheat and what is also uh, one of the most important fact, this is existence of cultivated grape. Next one, please. Uh, the oldest archaeological remains of six millennium BC related to grape seeds and wine making have been found in Georgia while today the country has uh, over 500 uh, varieties of grapes. Thanks to this discovery, history of the winemaking in Georgia spans 8,000 years, which is uh, the earliest in the world. And what you see, the jar on the left side of the screen, uh, on this jar you can see representation of the grape, which is the earliest one also, another evidence of wine making tradition in ancient Georgia. Next one, please. Next stage is the development of bronze culture on the territory of uh, Georgia. This is what you see now. This is so-called the uh, Kuruarax culture of the fourth millennium and third millennium BC. This is culture which covers huge territory from all Caucasian area, including eastern territory of Anatolia, and it goes south to the Galilean Sea. So this is one of the best examples of very high interrelation, economic and cultural interrelation in this time. Next one, please. Middle Bronze Age. Uh, this is one of the most interesting uh, period because of existence of huge burial mounds, so-called kurgans, containing uh, very rich archaeological materials, like you see here, just only a few examples of, of this, for example, uh, this uh, golden and silver cups and etc. But what is important here, existence of uh, different artifacts showing again cultural and economic relations with different civilizations, for example, South Mesopotamia or Asian world. 
Next, please. This is uh, second and first millennium. This period in archaeology of uh, Georgia and in history of Georgia is period of existence of pre-urban cities. And now I am showing megalithic fortress, which is located on the territory of South Georgia on the high mountains. This is 3,000 meters above sea level. Next one, please. But when we are talking about uh, the culture and intellectual innovations based on inter international relations, the one of the best archaeological sites is Karagliani Hill, which is located in the center of Transcaucasia on the territory of eastern Georgia. There are 11 uh, different cultural layers from the lower Paleolithic period till to the early Byzantine time. You know? Now, unfortunately, we have no time to speak in, in details about this uh, very interesting archaeological site. But what is important, and I would like to show this is next slide, please. Existence of inscriptions on the territory of Georgia. Date of this inscription is 10th century BC. This date is based in C14 analysis, results of C14 analysis made in different three different labs of Europe and United States also. So this is one of the earliest not only in uh, on the territory of Georgia and Caucasus, but generally speaking, this is uh, uh, earliest Aramaic type inscription, generally speaking, in the history of writing system. Next one, please. When we are talking about the Georgia, we have to speak in details about the legendary Colchis, which was very well known thanks to Argonauts' voyage there. This was one of the most popular myths in Greece, as you know. And uh, uh, the, the, after this uh, Argonauts' voyage, legendary Colchis became the country rich of gold. This was country was known in Greek and the Roman literature as a country rich of gold. But what you see now, uh, on the top, those are bronze items of third, the second, and first millennium BC. And uh, also, I would like to show the three pictures. This is not archaeology, but karst cavity, for example, dinosaurs, footprints of 60 million years old, and this very interesting pillar of 40 meters high uh, uh, with a chart on the top of 6th, 8th century. In the next, please. Uh, one of the most interesting archaeological facts what we have on the territory of Colchian, this, those are Colchian collective graves containing sometimes thousand buried individuals in one grave with their own items. It's the, such type of collective graves exist on the territory of uh, uh, Colchis from the 9th century till to the 4th century BC. And <coughs> you can see different kind of items, the, the weapons, and bronze sculptures and jewelry, etc. Again and again, show, showing very active interrelation uh, between Georgia and the Asian world. The next, please. As far as Georgia, well, legendary Caucasus was known as a country rich of gold, we have to have some kind of archaeological evidences of this, and we have it in two archaeological sites, what was discovered on the territory of Western Georgia. One of them is Vani, what you see now. This was rather high Hellenized archaeological site. Uh, you can see the representation of Apollo and uh, Dionysus and etc. etc. But what was important, this is uh, existence of rich graves of 6th, 4th century BC. 6th, 4th century BC is period of existence of Colchian Kingdom. Next, please. <coughs> and you see here, this is one of the grave, grave number 24. And what is yellow, this is gold. What is gray, this is silver. Totally in this grave, 27 thousands of items were discovered, like this uh, you see uh, now. Next one, please. <coughs> Those uh, artifacts were discovered in this grave. and. Uh, graves like this, also 5th, 4th century BC. Next one, please. And another administrative center of Kohian Kingdom, Syria, where we have 
as you can see, some Greek style uh, items, and what is also very important, uh, Achaemenid Persian style uh, items also, with a representation of Mithra, for example. Next one, please. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Roman period, uh, on the territory of Georgia, in Western Georgia, as well as in Eastern Georgia, we have several towns and the castellums of Roman time. What you see now, this is coastal line of uh, Colchis, Conio, his name is uh, Roman castellum, what you see uh, right side of, uh, of this picture, with excellent items made of gold. Uh, and you can see, for example, Valera is a representation of tiger and the ram, as well as uh, sculpture of the young man. Next, please. And uh, <coughs> capital of ancient Georgia, Mtscheta, um, small town. And uh, this, next, please. Uh, this town was as a capital of uh, ancient Georgia, was established in Alexander the Macedonian period in the fourth century BCE. Now, what you see, this is Acropolis. This, Triangle field is Acropolis of Mtscheta. On the right side, this was settlement capital area of Mtscheta. There are, uh, of course, as far as it was the capital of Georgia, uh, there are noblemen's necropolis. There is nobleman necropolis, and you see some items showing again very near interrelation with Western world, Roman Empire, and at the same time with the Sasanian world also. The next, please. The next, please. And in 30, 326, Christianity was declared the official religion in Georgia. And after this time, our culture was totally changed. Then it became, <clears throat> became the, the typical Orthodox period church, Orthodox style church. But this was another step for development of country. And uh, this was way to the another renaissance of Georgian culture of 12th and 13th century, uh, of course. So next, please. <coughs> and final uh, uh, picture, this is uh, Cave Monastery, Vardia on the territory of South Georgia, with 600 caves inside, <coughs> which is, by the way, the main place of uh, Conference International, Conference of Young Archaeologists. Next one. <coughs> Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Okay. I think now, now I, I can start my talk uh, and I will talk uh, about um, uh, Georgian uh, visual art mostly and some of the topics will be overlap with the uh, uh, topic of my previous colleague uh, because um, we, we, we both uh, will talk about the Georgian rich culture which uh, which existed in Georgia from very early time. Uh, next please. If you look at the world map Georgia occupies the tiny space between the Caspian and Black Seas, it neighbors uh, to Armenia, Azerbaijan, Iran, Russia and Turkey. Georgia's diverse uh, climate, next please, include uh, the highest mountains in the Europe, the semi-tropical areas, deserts, fertile plains and values. It is covered with natural springs and mineral waters and support farms, vineyards and tea plantations. This small piece of fertile soil was shrouded by the mysteries of time. A lot of legends were born here uh, or were associated with this country. Georgia's geographical location is both a fortune and the misfortune. For millenniums, it had been actual in the struggle for hegemony, world hegemony for various empires, and therefore has remained on the geopolitical map of the world with various status, but always actual, which undoubtedly led to the preservation of its sta statehood to these days. All these facts, next please. 
All these facts have significantly contributed to the formation of such a phenomenon as Georgian culture, which combines important components, language, customs, traditions and lore, visual and decorative art, music, architecture, religious, philosophical thinking, etc. Uh, next, please. It is here that the first uh, humanoids emerged from the war warm African continent, which is confirmed by the world-renowned archaeological discoveries of Dmanisi. Next, please. Start from the Neolithic era, settlements, tombs and material cultural monuments of all these periods are discovered in Georgia, which show the authenticity of these materials at, at the same time its wide connections with the Western and Eastern worlds. Next, please. On the gold and silver artifacts of the tombs of Trialeti, third, uh, second millennium, the connections of Proto-Georgian world with the Middle Eastern civilizations is already clearly visible, which reveals its certain compositional schemes, images and techniques of metalsmith. During this period, the main style of this material is formed, which is characterized by the use of silver silver and especially large quantities of gold objects for ritual and secular purposes, decorated with the granulation or filigree techniques and inlay with various sorts of stone materials. It should be also mentioned that the first precedence of gold mining, third millennium, which is the first and earliest myth method of extracting gold, next please, have been discovered uh, on the territory of Georgia. The mining and settlement sites were discovered by the German and Georgian archaeologists uh, um, in the last years. Um, uh, but the second method of extracting gold from river was also described by old antique historians uh, in Kolcheti in Western Georgian Kingdom and confirmed by the ethnologists till 19th century in Swaneti. Next, please. We can see here the depiction of meat of golden fleece uh, and um, on the Greek vases. And uh, scholars suggest that this myth of Argonauts uh, should be a reflection of an echo of a real facts and have to form in the second, first millennium BC. Uh, the second uh, half of the first millennium is characterized by the confrontation of two civilizations and two cultures of the world, Western, Greek and Eastern Achaemenidian Iran. The Georgian material of this period, next please, reveals close ties with uh, the Western Greek Hellenistic culture and is characterized by the originality and individuality, tradition of working in pure gold with method of granulation and filigree with original artistic images inspired by the local flora and fauna. And at the same time, we can see some connections with the Oriental world, the sense of the battle of lion and bull, you can see here, this is the ritual corona. The Egyptian uh, necklace, which was discovered in this site also, and silver Achaemenidian ewers, which we have found on um, this, on Western Georgian sites of different sites. The diverse material of existed uh, Georgian goldsmith school is further enriched in the late antique and Hellenistic eras. The Eastern Georgian Iberian school of goldsmiths uh, after the centuries uh, continue the traditions of the polychrome style of the trialetic culture and at the same time is it enriched the repertoire with new images, forms, materials imported from the Western world. Uh, next, please. We can see here the Eastern Georgian Iberian School of Goldsmiths, and you can see the Georgian works and importing gems and also uh, similar 
picture is visible uh, with uh, in connection with Easter world. Some uh, bowls and some methods are very uh, clearly connected uh, this goldsmith school with the Eastern school. The same we can see in the architecture when where uh, the Eastern and Western um, uh, stylistic features are uh, coexisting. Next, please. Uh, and next. Early 4th century is turning point for Georgia. Both Georgian kingdoms finally choose an orientation and linked their faith with the newly formed Christian religious. From that time until today, Georgia is the Christian Orthodox cult country. From the 4th century, the development of Christian religious and secular art began. Basilicas and central cupola churches richly decorated with facade sculptures, splendid mural paintings were erected. The interiors of them were decorated with gold, silver and painted icons. Uh, splendid cloisonne enamels and embroideries. We can uh, continue with slides and all these next uh, five slides are about depicted Georgian Christian art. Please, next please. This is central cupola, Mtscheta, which uh, Dr. Licelli also saw. Next please. Next, again. Mm -hmm. Next, yes, and again one more, and one more, yes, and next, um, uh, from 7th century, a new religious Islam was born, which spread rapidly around the world and reached Georgia too. Tbilisi and many other sites passed into the hands of Arabs. Uh, the Emirate under protection of Baghdad Khalifat was established in Tbilisi. From this period, the Islamic world actively appeared in the political arena of Georgian Orthodox state. Muslim dynasties of Arabs, Seljuks, Ilkhans, Ottomans and Iran have had a certain influence on Georgia Georgian culture for centuries. This pressure increased after the fall of Byzantium in 1453. Muslim communities appeared in the cities. Whole regions were settled by ethnic minorities. The Georgian population of the territories occupied by Muslim empires were converted to Islam. Mosques were built it, uh, Islamic decorative and applied art was flourished. You can see here some examples from Georgian sites, different sites and monuments which are kept in Georgian museums. Next, please. But the situation did not affect Georgia hardly. The construction and decoration of churches continued. Masterpieces of decorative applied art were created. But at the same time, in some monuments, we can clearly see the influence of Islamic art. A brick used for the construction instead of traditional stone. Pointed arches. Next, please. Uh, this architecture was influenced by Muslim architecture and uh, we can see this influence also in decorative applied art and traditions which we are introduced in late uh, medieval period. Next slides, so the next two slides and again one more. Mm -hmm. Yes, and next. With the entry of Russian Empire into the Caucasus region in uh, the end of 18th century, 1783, the political and cultural influence of Islamic states, Ottoman and Safavid empires on Georgia was finished. From this time, the Western culture began to flow to Georgia via Russia. Many cultural, educational and entertainment institutions were opened. Next place, and we can see the, the different styles of European and, and Russian architecture which was introduced in Georgia and there are monuments which uh, depict the, the various styles which existed uh, at the 19th century or not only in Tbilisi but uh, in countrysides. Next uh, please. 
In this period, new ethnic groups appeared on the territory of Georgia, which were settled here by Russian Empire from various reasons and purposes. Armenians, Duhobors, Germans, Duhobors, Jewish people who, whose living tradition is Georgia is, of course, much more earlier and older, but uh, we have a lot of their monuments also. Most of them are dated by 18th, 19th century. Uh, despite the aggressive political and cultural policy which Russian Empire provided in Georgia, the national liber liberation movement never stopped and Georgia people retained their identity, language, faith till collapse of Russian Empire in 1917, which Georgian people respond with the emergence of a new independent Georgian Republic, 1918-1921. Next, please. Uh, during this short three years period, the first Georgian university was established. The former um, Caucasian Museum was uh, uh, transformed into the Museum of Georgia and the new Fine Art Museum was established, which collected Western and Oriental art in parallel with Georgian materials. The Republic began to send Georgian contemporary artists abroad to organize temporary exhibitions, scientific expeditions for research Georgian culture, and to make exhibitions on the various themes dedicated to Georgian cultural heritage. Next, please. All these artists, most of them except Pirosmani, of course, were sent abroad by the Georgian Democratic Republic and after return they uh, created uh, very important uh, works uh, and um, established the new Georgian uh, style of painting. Uh, many leading Russian artists fleeing uh, the Bolshevik regime and looked for peaceful environment in Georgia in that period. Uh, but all this ended in 1921 with entry of Red Army into the Caucasus and overthrow of the government of Democratic Republics of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia. Uh, the 70 years old Bolshevik regime, next please. Uh, significantly damaged Georgian culture. Hundreds of Georgian artists were killed in repressions of 1920s and 1930s. Ideological pressure has also intensified, but despite the difficult Soviet decades, Georgian art till, still managed to maintain a major direction. In, in the 1990s, after the declaration of independence, Georgia became part of free world. Here we can see the works of uh, Soviet artists uh, in, in style of socialist realism and uh, below the artists who try to keep the Georgian traditional methods of Georgian traditional art. And next please. In period of perestroika, uh, uh, and this movement started also liberation of Georgian visual art started from 50s and 60s and finally it, it reached its apogee in the uh, 1990s when Georgia became independent republic. Next please. Today, Georgian artists uh, and scholars um, are um, are, um, partici can participate uh, in international world forums, holding exhibitions around the world where they introduce Georgian scientific uh, achievements, cultural heritage and contemporary art uh, uh, to the world. Here are artists of new generation uh, who, whose uh, works are already well known abroad uh, and they are participating in many international exhibitions alongside with the exhibitions which um, Georgian National Museum and other Georgian institutions are uh, doing um, in Europe and America. And next slide, I want to finish with this slide. You can see the modern exhibitions of uh, uh, Independent Republic of Georgia, uh, which um, were dedicated to different topics. Uh, um, uh, there are exhibitions in Vienna, Bordeaux, Frankfurt and Baku with um, topics from ancient Georgian um, civilization uh, till uh, modern, uh, till Pirosmani. So today Georgia is facing new, um, uh, new, um, uh, 
new goals and we hope that the Georgian culture and art um, which is already recognized uh, uh, is a very interesting uh, phenomena which is enriched equally with the best traditions of Western and Eastern cultures but also it keeps its identity and individuality. Thank you very much.